have been well trained. No, you don't have to carry a sword to be powerful. No. I won't fail you. Oh, do not. I'm not afraid. There is no trouble. Hey everybody, my name is Todd and I am here doing some commentary for the Chance Cube and their coverage of 2018 World Championship for Star Wars Destiny. On the left today we have Marcus L playing Boba Phasma, on the right we have Ronald B playing Ray Ayla. Ray Ayla is commonly referred to as Stairs as coined by the uh, Hyperloops member Bobby Sapphire. The deck runs Obi-Wan's Hut, looks like, and that's obviously to give a blue character a shield. As the Boba Phasma player, I don't think I would pick that particular battlefield if it were me, because you have to pay a resource to get a shield on one of your non-blue characters, and I just don't think, in this matchup at least, the uh, resource is worth one shield, especially, uh, yeah, not, yeah, there's no reason to do that. Uh, Boba Phasma is running Emperor's Throne Room. All of his starting dice have specials, so that's definitely the way to go. Uh, so either one of these players, I'm pretty sure whoever wins the roll-off will take their battlefield. Unless Ray Ayla really wants those shields to start on Ray. Uh, that would be the only reason I would think to give the opponent their battlefield, especially one that's so potent as the Emperor's Throne Room and with Phasma's special being able to do three damage later in the game and Boba's special doing usually usually around two, um, but it can go much higher depending on the dice that are out on the field. <sighs> Man, that'd be a tough call. Not sure what I would do. Ray Ayla does have the profitable, profitable connections to get that extra resource at the beginning of the game. Uh, Boba Phasma, though, taking up all the points that they have available. Ah, man, this is that'd be a tough decision if I were the Ray Ayla player on which one to do. So let's see what happens in the roll-off. Who's going to make the tough call today? Ooh, Ray Ayla did not roll very well, and sure enough, Boba Phasma takes it and uses their battlefield. I think that was the right call. Oh, except that he has the shields on Ray now. Hmm. All right, so the Boba Phasma player is, ah, LL30 on Phasma. So he's got an ambush, uh, so he gets an extra action. I think I did see a Binds All Things on the Ray Ayla player's side. Uh, I think that would be his first bet. What was the other? Oh, fast hands on Boba. <laughs> and the binds all things on Ray Ayla. You know, obvious first moves. So fast hands on Boba. I'm a huge fan of Boba Fett. And the fast hands just makes his special even that much better. Being able to uh, copy off your opponent's die. Of course, that's not going to help to roll to uh, copy. So we've got Ayla who rolls in with a blank and her special. Oh, look at that. Uh, bait and switch on the Phasma die to turn two range damage. Get those shields off of Ray. Beautiful, beautiful play. That's the way to do it. So, Ray Ayla, player, Ronald, he uh, uses it, binds all things, and pays a resource to get a Shoto out. If he's got another weapon, nah, I don't think he could get another weapon out of that. All right, so we've got another two range showing on Boba. Hmm. I wonder what you do. You might soft control that. But Phasma does have the focus. Oh, here comes the caution. I did not see that in his hand. So the caution gives a uh, gives Ray her three shields again, so her ability is back online. Every time she activates, you're going to do a damage. Uh, if she has a shield, that is beautiful. Oh, that's great. And unless... It uh, looks like all he's got is a couple of tactical masteries. That's not going to help him to get those shields off and prevent that damage. So he does the two. Gets a couple shields off of Ray, but Ray still ha keeps that. Ah, so Ray is super powerful with this. Uh, this ability, while it doesn't sound like much, if you can keep her alive for two or three or four or five rounds, I mean, you're looking at that much damage if you can keep that shield on her. 
Uh, so you're basically saying, hey, I'm going to add this extra die to the game that's a 3, 4, 5 damage die, and I'm just going to resolve that gradually throughout the game. That's That can uh, that can definitely be painful, especially when uh, villains don't have a ton of shields. So that damage is usually going to make it right through. So using the Aayla special to turn Ray to a 2 range, or uh, sorry, 2 melee, and Boba to the blank. While Ayla special is really good, especially if you can special chain it, I'm not totally sold on the soft mitigation. Oh, I think I see the play. I think the Boba Phasma player should claim. Oh, <laughs> just a second, just a second ahead. Gets rid of that last shield off a of race. So it's going to be a little bit of work. Ah, he gets the shield right back on with the Shoto. See, that, that's exactly what I would have done, too. I would have removed that shield, gotten so excited, and then he resolves the Shoto that's showing his shield, and I probably wouldn't have even noticed that. Not sure if he did either. So, looks like on the Boba Phasma side, we've got a Vibro Knife. Uh, the, he kept the Tactical Masteries in there. Might have two Vibro Knives, actually. All right, so on the uh, Ray Ayla side, looks like Boba Phasma obviously claimed uh, and used Boba Special to do the one damage. All right, so Bobo, what you gonna do? Oh, I think I saw a very spicy card in uh, the Boba Phasma deck. I'll have to wait and see if he is able to play it or not. All right, so he rolls out Phasma. Oh, gets some good damage. Uh, Ray Ayla though, popping out that heirloom lightsaber. Fantastic. Uh, he's gonna get that shield from the Shoto. So Ray's ability is now online for the rest of the game. And that uh, heirloom lightsaber, even if Ray dies, is going to stick around for a long time. Bubba rolls out, gets the two melee and a disrupt. I think I would fast hands the two melee right now. Just get that shield off of Ray before she can... Uh, she's going to get another shield from Shoto, but at least you can get a damage through. I think that might be what I would do. I mean, obviously he's going to have some answers there. He's still got the one resource, so there's still some things he can do. But... Let's see. He rolls out. Ray gets the damage. He did not fast hands any of that damage. I wonder if he forgot about his fast hands. I don't know how you could with it staring right you, staring at you right in the face, but it happens. It definitely happens. All right, so he's going to... Aha, it was the card I thought it was. Okay, so this is a card that hardly gets any play, but it is amazing, especially with all the erratas for all the other focusing cards like uh, Heat of Battle or something like that. This card is still amazing. This is called We Have Them Now. We Have Them Now is a two-cost event. It allows you to turn four of your dice to side showing damage. You do have to have the battlefield. It looks like he actually changed the two melee on Boba to a two range i mean all of all of the dice are now showing insane amounts of damage i mean he's showing eight nine ten possibly eleven damage right there i mean that's enough to kill ayla oh he guards guards one of the dice away unfortunately only showing ones across the board that's ridiculous Oh, so so far in this game, Boba has five damage, has done zero damage on the other side of the field, and that I don't know if res if not resolving the two melee was a mistake. I don't know if it would have made a huge difference. So he decides to do the six damage. He switches targets a little bit, goes to Ayla, and I think I know why. So Bo uh, Phasma's special does two damage to a character unless they have six or more on them. Then it does three. Unfortunately, the Force Illusion is going to absorb those three, but he got an Ancient Lightsaber out of out of his deck. Ooh, that is some of the best healing that uh, the Ray Ayla deck has, so we might see some pretty good, uh, pretty good damage coming through. Another special on Ayla and a two indirect damage. So definitely have a, a potential of very high damage this round on the Ray Ayla side of things. Could, uh, could kill Boba quite easily, I think. Boba passes, allows Ayla to end, uses, wait a minute, what did he just do? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, what did you do, my friend? Oh, you guys, I, I think our Ray Ayla player just made a huge mistake. 
So uh, at some point, the Boba Phasma player claimed, I'm not sure when, but uh, Ray Ayla player just used Ayla's special to turn Ayla's other die to a special when your opponent, when his opponent had no dice in the field. He turned a two indirect damage into a special side. Now, granted, he may have done that to avoid uh, some uh, removal just in case, but I'm sorry. I think that I think that was a mistake. I think that was a bona fide mistake because two damage is two damage. It may have been indirect, but it's damage, man. Uh, even if he puts it on Phasma, that's two less damage you have to do later in the game. All right, so we got Boba coming out, rolling in. He's got the fast hands, but... Uh, so he fast hands the resource and leaves the special out, kind of baiting. Ooh, the raid Ayla player uh, does kill Boba from the activation of Ray. See, it's that one damage, man. Every time, it'll get you. It'll get you. Unfortunately, Boba did not roll the damage that he needed to, and that was really unfortunate. Ugh. Ayla or Ray not rolling very great either, so something else could happen here. Let's go ahead and see. All right, we get a hidden blaster which removes a shield from a character. Uh, Ronald getting a little excited and picking up the shield first. Uh, I always wait until the opponent actually tells me to remove it because it says may. It says you may remove a shield. And if your opponent decides not to remove the shield, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if they decide not to or if they forget about it, you don't have to do it. All right, looks like we've got a dead Ayla on the way here. Uh, we've got four damage showing at least, and then with the specials doing even more. So, yep, yep, killed her. Uh, and the reason he was able to do that is because he played uh, Quick Draw, which allowed him to get that... Hidden Blaster with Ambush out there and give two actions. So just slaughtered Ayla before she could even roll out. So at least he got the activation off Boba. Ayla didn't get anything. Uh, <laughs> discarding another Binds All Things on the Ray side in order to uh, re-roll. Oh, he had the Synchronicity play. I'm not going to lie. And Synchronicity is another one of those cards that I never see coming. Even if I can see it in people's hands, I, I will forget that it's there and forget uh, what the triggers are. So the trigger for uh, Synchronicity is having a shield and a melee and does two unblockable damage. I, I mean, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful card, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I usually like to use it as a finisher. Uh, you know, may have held on to it for another round, but... You don't have to, if you're just trying to do damage as fast as you can. Oh, I think that was a two melee that he just did, uh, My Ally is the Force. See, I love all these spicy cards. Look at this stuff. Oh, man, they are rocking it here today. I'm loving this. Uh, we have them now. <laughs> and then the synchronicity into the <laughs> My Ally is the Force. Oh, my goodness. These people are great. I'm having fun watching this. All right, Ray re-rolls, gets some damage, and oh, hasty exit gives control of the battlefield to your opponent for a zero cost to remove any die showing damage. Come on, guys. Where'd you come up with that card? I mean, I love it, but oh, and then in a, in a sudden move, the uh, Ray player claims, I think that's all they had left to do, though. I mean, they could have taken, uh, I think there was a resource, I thought he Nope, he didn't claim it. So, uh, so he had a resource still showing. I think Boba Phasma player. I think Marcus was trying to be a little cheeky. All right, we get another Shoto on Ray. So Ray's going to be getting two shields around, on top of having all those dice showing so much damage. Oh, this is not looking too good for uh, little Phasma over here. If I were a betting man, I'd definitely say that. Uh, Ray takes this one. That that it binds all things has saved uh, has saved Ronald at least three resources as far as I've seen this far. Well, two resources if you count how much it costs to play it. All right, so we get a. Uh, oh my goodness, I cannot remember what that's called. 
the X8 Sniper, which has ambush, is able to uh, play Tactical Mastery to get two actions, rolls in Little Miss Phasma, does not get what he's looking for. Ooh, oh, that hurts. Uh, double Phasma special seems awesome, but when your opponent does not have the stuff, it just, it just hurts. So he discards to re-roll. Um, I may have taken, oh, he did get the special on the LL30, which allows you to focus one of your other dice to range damage. So, uh, I mean, if Raid didn't get those Shoto shields every time, he might have had a good chance, but I, th I, I think, yeah, this game is pretty much over. Um, I'm not much, I, I'm not actually a betting man, but yeah. So depending on what he's got in his hands, he just does the straight up four damage, meaning he doesn't have anything. The uh, Ray player does it, and there's the handshake, GG. So um, not really sure what you could have done different to, uh, to make that better. He could have tried to vandalize to get rid of one of the Shotos maybe, but I don't know how much of a difference it would have made. Ah, what a great game though. Uh, good game. Well played, both of you guys. Uh, first round, so Ray Ayla chalks up another win. Uh, in the repertoire of all the uh, all the many games that that deck has played, and Boba Phasma, which was actually my favorite, uh, just because I, I like the combination of characters. I just think it's cool. We've got a couple of bucket heads, <laughs> but hey, you know what? Awesome work, guys. Hey, you guys made it to Worlds. You're playing in the game, and you know what? Uh, one loss is nothing to nothing to worry too much about. Uh, both of these players can easily make it today too. So maybe we'll see them again in future streams. But in the meantime, thank you very much for checking out the Chance Cubes video. I uh, hope you enjoyed my commentary. And we'll catch you next time. Uh, the next video should be uh, coming up soon.